I'm going to talk a little bit about my loading methods. You can, everyone knows what this is, kind of a linear, linear periodization model. Volume starts high, goes down, intensity goes up. Fine and dandy, but you know, folks, I actually find that there was better ways. If you could click it. This is your classic linear periodization where obviously supercompensation takes place. But my key thing, I love the undulating model where I essentially got this. You actually peak every week, so you use a combination of loads during the course of a week that are actually used every time. So with this undulating periodization model, this is actually study and information done by Dr. Bondarchuk, who'll speak later today. Essentially what you have is group one, use 50% of maximum effort or maximum weight. Group two, use 90% of maximum weight. And then group three, use a combination of both. And this is just results based. Using a combination of various loads, they got the best results for the highest level. And this is what I've seen over the years, undulating model. I've trained a couple athletes, let's say in the 400, that we use this undulating model. They ran the world's fastest times two weeks apart in college, track athletes. We knew then that this undulating model was a method that we had to apply to every sport and apply to almost every protocol. So I'll let you, uh, I'm gonna explain that today. Essentially, this is classic undulating model. Now this doesn't work for me. I switched it, I'm gonna show you how I switched it to work for athletics, sports training, um, some, some say drug free. I know the Bulgarians use the undulating model, but yet they weren't drug free to the least extent. And I'll show you how I got this to work. So essentially you have, let's say, and I use this at a heavy weight strength gaining, a strength gaining method. So the weights you see here, the 85 or 80, 85, 92% are max up or max percentage of your max. Now you can also do it at low loads and I'll show that slide next, but 80% day one, let's say you're doing 80%, your volume's much higher. This is a classical model. Increase the weight, volume drops, your heaviest loads would be day three at your lowest volume. The problem with this is the highest volume here on drug-free athletes and or training, let's say track athletes or anybody in season, this volume day beat them up, okay? Or even the out of season training when we're in summer and they're not doing much of their sport, this day beat them up. They couldn't recover to come back to do this. So what I do, if you change it, I took day one and shifted it to Friday. Let's say, for example, on a three-day model. Slid everything back. So this is a medium heavy day on one. Day two is the heaviest day, max effort, whatever you want to call it. Day three is the high volume, so then they had the weekend to recover. And it didn't screw up these motor tasks. Because if that high volume's here, I can't improve the qualities of strength because the nervous system still beat up a little bit. Or a lot bit, I should say. So I gave them an extra day to recover. Now, this is a three-day model. I'm going to show you how to shove it into a six-day model, a five-day model, a four-day plan, a three-day plan, two-day, or uh, in-season plan, two. So this is the reasoning behind it. If you could throw me the next slide. Okay. One more. Okay, go back up. Yes, we'll go there. Go. Uh, yeah, there we go. The, the catch with this. Now, Talking with engineering students, I want to make sure that uh, the loading methods, high force, I, I use that to keep my time so I don't uh, lose track. High, force at high, at low velocity. Engineering student came to me and said, yes, we're looking at 82% on force pace. He's like, well, that's just force at, at low velocity. And it dawned on me, we're applying force at low velocity. This is what I call high loads. All right, and I'll, use, and I'll explain that later in here why I use that terminology. But this is your undulating, heavy loading for undulating model during the week. 85%, now whatever, now I'm gonna give you an example. My 85%, the athlete could do 85 for about four. Max effort. So if he can back squat uh, 500, uh, let's do, or let's do 300, he's gonna do 255 for four. That's the best he can do. So, but I don't always do that. I actually go doubles and triples, maybe even singles and clusters in this day. But just so you understand that that's my 85%. My 92 is he can do it for two to three, mostly three. So on that day, he's doing weight that he can do for three. Now he may do multiple sets of singles because I keep the quality high and I'll talk about that later. And then my 80% right around six. So the athlete can back squat 300. He's, she, he or she's doing 240 
for a set of five or six, but that's it. So actually what I do then is I actually do triples and I'll talk more about that later, okay? Now, the same loading plan for, this should actually say light, I'm sorry. The light loadings, this is how I use the undulating model if I'm not lifting them heavy. Okay, folks, you, you gotta get over the idea that to get somebody strong or keep them strong, you have to lift heavy. You can lift 80% for high speeds and apply high force. Again, that's why, high force at a high velocity. So I'm either, in my programming, I'm either above 80 or I'm below 80, okay? Speed kills, this is my speed concepts. I put plyometrics and everything involved in here. So if you're either above 80 again or below 80, below 80 I'm working more speed. That's how I pick every one of my teams with this loading model. Day one, 70%, okay? Day two, I'm hitting 80%. Now you say, well, yeah, you use 80% on the other model, but again, I'd use it for triples over there, here. I always use it for singles and that's it. Okay, so we'll do five sets of singles, boom, explosive, and then we'll often pair that with some type of plyometric, which I'll get into later. 55%, so, and, and these aren't always set. This may go at 80 to 75, this may go 75 to 65, this may go 65 to 45, or even 35. Depends what method you wanna put in there, but these are my day loading models, okay? That's high force at high velocity, okay? Now, quick review. Range, day one, high force, high velocity, 85%. The same day, if you're below 80, right there's my range, 65 to 70%. So here I may be doing doubles for four or five sets. I may be doing doubles here, but I'm also probably applying some other methods, whether it be plyometrics. I may use chains and bands at different times or whatever, but you all ultimately know, understand that. So 85, then day two, 90% and above, okay? So this is a high max effort stress day. And when B Dr. Bonderchuk talked yesterday, and, and you'll talk to him, his mass, max effort attempts, this is what you have to regulate. I train um, one of the world's strongest men, he took third. And where you have is, we're actually monitoring everything he does. The volume doesn't seem to bother him. We push the limits. It's his max effort attempts. So how we're peaking him is on his max effort attempts. Okay, so when he does a thousand pound yoke walk, we consider that a max effort. The 850 wasn't a max effort. So we're gonna peak him on a weekly model. We're gonna only give him 40 max effort attempts. Maybe 50 this week, the next week 30, and then he tapers for another week, okay? Because, well, we, I do some nutrition stuff and analyze tissue. We learned that he's sympathetic dominant, which most athletes are, so his nervous system so high, high strong. His adrenals weren't taxed, which I was surprised. The reason for that, he probably eats, he eats actually a lot of raw liver and raw meat, which actually I think regenerates those with uh, some grass-fed beef. He's got a farm that sponsors him. But his adrenals and everything aren't taxed, and that max effort's the key, okay, for him and his, and his uh, peaking method. And then this is, folks, this is a day three, 80%, 65 and below. But, folks, this is the high volume, more or less, physical conditioning. Now that can be in the weight room and that can be with some other methods. I can talk to you about that. I'll even intermax these. If if on my strength week, I'll go 85 and 92 and they're really beat up because it's the heaviest week you got. I may drop down and do sets of 12 on single leg squat. Now, getting into exercise selection, I'll train this day six days a week. Okay, sometimes. Uh,